Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if there's no sound output devices found in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to check Windows 11's sound settings. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and then on the left pane make sure to click on system and then on the right side select the sound category. Now if the output section doesn't include any sound device just click the add device button. In here, select a suitable category to add your sound output device. Now, if you do have a device present in the output section, just click it to access its property settings. Now in here, just click on the allow option if your PC's output audio is set to don't allow. Make sure all your computer's output sound devices are allowed. So in my case, everything is allowed in here because the don't allow button is showing up. Another useful solution is to use the settings in device manager. To do this, right-click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options. In the following window, make sure to expand the sound video and game controllers, and then right-click on the problematic driver and make sure it's enabled. So if you have the Disable Device option, it means the driver is enabled. Otherwise, in the same menu, you can also choose to update the driver. So click this option and then click on Search automatically for drivers. Now Windows will try to find the best possible drivers on your PC. If for some reason this step doesn't work at all, you can just right-click the problematic driver again and select the Uninstall Device option. Now just tick the box next to attempt to remove the driver for this device and confirm again by pressing on the Uninstall button. You will see that after you restart your PC, Windows will automatically reinstall the driver for your sound device. Another useful solution is to run the playing audio troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, and in here on the left pane make sure to click on System, and then on the right side scroll down until you find the Troubleshoot section and select it. Now click on Other Troubleshooters, and in here just make sure to press on the Run button next to Playing Audio. Now Windows will try to find any potential issues with your output devices, and then fix them if possible. And lastly, another great solution is to run a system file scan. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and run command prompt as an administrator. Now, in the next window, just type or copy-paste the following command from the description below and then press on Enter. Now, just wait a bit until the scan is finished and then restart your PC. You can then check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.